What is going on everybody? Dennis here with Quack This Way YouTube channel and GodfreyDG.com. I'm here again with blue shirt, blue background. I guess I like blue. Why do I wear everything blue? Anyway, today I want to bring you a special um, part of my Christian walk. I am joining something called the Frontiers Christian Fellowship. Uh, it is a group of Christians that come together and do some reenactment, um, reenacting of the 1840s and back mountain men or rendezvous time period. And part of that, I had to go to something called an adventure. Not allowed to get into what I did at adventure, but at adventure, they asked us to make a leather kind of pouch to go around the neck. So I'm going to take you along as I make that today. Um, I'll probably have a couple more videos of me making mountain men type um, clothing. I'm going to make a haversack, probably make a, a blanket shirt or blanket sweatshirt type design uh, that will be I'm going to make for my son. Um, he is going to go to an event called Trace here soon. They're allowing us recruits to come in and go to that, which is only members are allowed to go to, but this year. Um, so I may go. I know he is going to go. And we need to kind of have our outfits or at least part of the outfit set up. Um, for that event. So follow me along as I walk you through how I make this leather pouch. So here's the design that was provided to me. It's a two-piece leather pouch. I'm going to take these two, the big piece, I'm going to cut it out. I laid that piece down on the back side of a piece of brown leather. Um, for me, I just used a Sharpie marker and I traced it out and then used a pair of scissors to cut that out from the leather. On the pattern, there was a back piece or second piece provided, but I just kind of transferred it over to the larger piece that I cut out and then it traced that also onto the leather and cut it out. What I'm going to do is glue the two pieces together with EcoFlow, a leather glue and that will keep it together and to make it easier to stitch. I'm going to use this tool to give me my spacing or put lines around the edge and that will allow me to make even holes around the whole side using my punch. I have a tool that has a four prongs so as I put the holes in the leather it makes four at a time. Mine's broken so there's only three here you see me doing that. I just have a piece of wood with a thicker piece of leather. I'm using my hammer as I punch it out. I'm going to use waxed thread for this and I'm going to use the step saddle stitch. It takes two needles. You start out by putting it in and you kind of go back and forth from each side so that way if it breaks one of the strings will still hold until you repair it. The best way to sew leather is to use a, a, a leather saddle, which I don't have, so I just use two blocks of wood and a clamp to clamp the piece in between, and then that helps it hold the leather as I'm sewing. there it's completely sewed together. Next I need a leather th thong. I don't have any long pieces of leather so if you take a piece of leather or scrap leather and you kinda cut it in a spiral you're able to use that leather for straps. I'm gonna punch two holes in the back of the piece. I use my leather hole punch and then I'm gonna put the thong through it and tie it off in the back. I kind of played with it a couple different ways. I'm still not sure how I'm going to leave it at the end. Well, here it is. Here's my leather pouch. It came out pretty good. I happened to do leather craft already, so I had some of the tools um, required to do leather kind of the modern way. I didn't do it maybe the old way where they would use an awl to punch all the holes and maybe they would do like a whip stitch along the edge out on the frontier, which would be easier. I did do a leather stitch um, so with the two needle style cut a piece of leather in a circle as you saw just to get this but I think this is a little weak to go around my neck it feels like it would get pulled off really easy so I probably need to change that out 
Um, but anyway, I just want to say thanks for our watching. If you're interested in this type of stuff and my continuing walk with Christ, please stick along as I try to improve my video making skills to use to spread the word of Jesus Christ. The one, the redeemer, the truth, the life, and the way. With that, God bless you.